Hey guys, we're uh, we're in Everett right now, heading to a job that I haven't been to before, and I actually don't think I've ever even been down the road. It's on because it's if you are from Everett, it's on the uh, east side of the freeway, and there's not a lot on that side between the freeway and the river, and so I've never really had to go over there for anything. And of course I've been like under the trestle and that kind of stuff to go to the fuel station down there, but not, uh, nope, missed a gear. Um, I've never been in this neighborhood that I'm going to. So I'm, looks like it should be right up here. I think they're on channel three. I could hear some chatter as I was approaching. So I hope, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Are we, we're going the other way? Okay, so I can see the trucks down there. Um, I can, okay. Awesome, thank you. Um, when I went to go turn down there, uh, I could see the truck's facing me, so obviously you don't, you don't turn. We've been going up uh, Simpson the back way on 172nd there and around the lakes. Six loads yesterday, eight and a half, eight and three quarters. Oh, you're going up the, like, back by three lakes? Simpson, I've always taken Marine View, but uh, yeah, everybody goes different ways. Yeah, whatever. Huh. So we're like right next to the freeway. I could see that from the from the map, but I didn't know there used to be a business in here. I don't know what it was. I can't remember what it was. Anyway. get out here and do construction again. I obviously, like I showed you guys a couple weeks ago, doing some small residential construction, but mostly I've been doing that pit to pit stuff where you get loaded up in the mountains and then bring it into like a gravel yard in, in uh, the city. And I mean, that's, it's super simple, but it never changes. It's always the exact same thing. It's test day for Bobby and I'm super excited for him and I'm super confident that he's going to do well because he uh, he's always been a good driver and he already had his class B CDL. It's just upgrading. So I'm I'm pretty pumped up. His test is here in like 15 minutes. I'm just excited. So I've said this before, but I'll say it again. When you pull up to a hoe, you want to get the box parallel with the tracks and that way they can easily load you just a pointer for people that are new. I think he told me to move up. I don't know. If not, I guess I can back up. here because I think it was the apartments and so um, he kind of said I kind of heard him yell uh, move up for your trailer but it was like really faint and then to move up to my trailer I pulled up till I thought I was close and then waited for him he put his bucket over the trailer and when he when was in the right spot he then uncurled the bucket so that I knew that's a good spot all right guys well we got all loaded up we're heading out cannot for the life of me remember what the company was that was in that spot before. Oh well. We're going to a dump site that I've been to a million times before but it has been a few years and actually I think that the last time I was in there I did get it on video but that was like two years ago so there's a couple YouTube videos that I shot 
in uh, this pit. The pit's out on the res. We're gonna head out there and we're gonna go around because fire trail's a pretty steep hill. We can make it up it and down it, but it's just better not to do it if you can help it. And there's two ways to get around. Uh, what the guy was saying on the CV before is they're going up uh, to Smoky Point, which is where I used to live and going out that way. And I, I'm sure I could figure out how to go that direction, but I don't know. The, I don't know the way going that way. So I normally get off in Marysville and take uh, Marine View all the way out. I think that's Marine View. I can't remember the name of the road. It doesn't matter. I know the, I know the road. Even if I don't know the name of it, I know the road. Material looks pretty sticky. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's going to slide out as easily as I hope.
off the side right here where it's not as steep. Put the box up. Take a look. Hopefully it's not that bad. Pray for me. You guys can probably already see it though. Oh, that's not good. There's a little bit of dirt coming out. Ooh, that's bad. It's really bad. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in there with the shovel, try to push some of that out. Dang it. You can see here that it's starting to slip down. Get it loosened up a bit. I'm not gonna shovel the whole thing since it's not the end of the day, but I am gonna take like two minutes to try to loosen some of the dirt from the walls. That should help.
operator said I still got some in there and he told me to lift it back up. With it facing uphill, it's hard to get the dirt all the way out. Well guys, I'm definitely earning my pay today. So I did get scraped out after the last round and it was just a quick one. I know that he did the sides probably right up into here until the tower. And I was hoping that everything else would slide out and I would just have to shovel this part over here. But looks like I gotta shovel all this and then I haven't even looked in the trailer. So I guess I'll just get this done real quick. Okay, that's been five minutes. Halfway done, I'm hoping. Okay, nine minutes in. kind of brick. I did it. Okay. Whew. 17 minutes. I'm a bit sweaty. My heart's racing. According to my watch, it's 176 beats a minute right now. <sighs> but this should dump out. I got down to the sand right here. There wasn't really anything on this side, luckily. So it should fall right out. Well guys, today is not my day. I just did all that work and I'm gonna have to climb back in there and shovel the rest of that out. At least it's not very much. I am ready for the mud season to be over. Mud season over, please. Okay, well, it's pretty built up in the trailer as well, I guess. At least it's not up around the tower. Okay, well, maybe I was wrong. Today is my day. Banged the box a couple of times and it slid out. That's good enough. I'm supposed to haul dirt next week anyway. Just gotta clean this reach. All right, guys. Well, I got the truck all cleaned out. Ugh. Put the shovel back. Um, trailer's not completely cleaned out. There's like a yard left in there. I just decided that I'm just gonna use a pressure washer to get the rest of it out when I get home. It's not a bad day for it, I guess. <laughs> Whew, man, I gotta get back in shovel shape. All right, guys. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.